Thank you my dear children, my dear students, my dear disciples. Uh, today I will teach you the next part that is the fifth part. I have completed four parts in the four classes regarding to figures of speech. Um, this is the fifth part, today's class. And in this fifth part, in the already in previous classes, we have uh, discussed and uh, I explained you um, the part of the figures of speech, a simile, metaphor, a personification, metonymy, apostrophe, hyperbole, synecdoche, transferred epithets, euphemism, irony or sarcasm. These are all have been completed and today we are going to discuss uh, the uh, figures of speech. In this class, um, three figures of speech uh, I am ready to teach you. Uh, please alert all of you and listen uh, carefully and receive this class I very heartfully and uh, concentrate while watching the this video. This in this video I will explain you uh, the figure of speech one of the major figure of speech pun P and pun and uh, epigram and next one uh, antithesis antithesis okay uh, in this part in the fifth part or class number five regarding to figures of speech first one is pun here in this uh, uh, figure of speech it is one of the figure of speech what is the definition or meaning of the figures of figure of speech what is meant by pun here this consists of a play on the various meanings of a word, various meanings that is you have to underline this one and next it is a effect is often ludicrous. What is the meaning of the ludicrous? So foolish. What is the meaning of ludicrous? So foolish, unreasonable or stupid or to be laughed at. That means uh, too foolish. Ridiculous, ridiculous means uh, uh, foolish. Too foolish. That is the meaning of the ridiculous. Uh, ludicrous. Uh, for example, is life worth living? It depends upon the uh, lever. It is related to living lever. Uh, worth living depends upon the living depends upon the uh, lever. Uh, it consists of the um, various meanings, various meanings. How do you understand this one? This pun is a one of the major important uh, figures of speech. All of you listen carefully. Uh, regarding the, this um, introduction part, in this introduction part, a pun is uh, a very a figure of speech, one of the figure of speech. It plays with words um, that have multiple meanings, multiple, multiple, M -L -T -I -P -L -E, multiple meanings. What is the meaning, meaning of multiple? Multiple means many, many meanings. Or that plays with words the sound similar but mean different things. That means homonyms, similar, similar words, uh, same spelling and different uh, meaning. That is the um, that is the introduction part of the pun. Regarding the definition, uh, generally it is a joke based on the interplay. What is the meaning of the interplay? Interplay means uh, interchange. Inter interplay means uh, interplay means interchange or co coordination. A pun is a joke based on the pun is a joke. It is a it is a joke. Based on the interplay interchange of homophones, homophones, we should concentrate homophones in English language 
uh, while studying the, the figure of speech pun, homophones, words with the same pronunciation but different meaning. Same pronoun, pronunciation. Same pronunciation but different meaning. Okay. Uh, next, uh, it can also play with words that sound similar but not exactly same. Similar sound but uh, exactly uh, same sounds. And then, it, um, the, for example, uh, on the basis of the fun, a pun is a, uh, it is one of the literary device, literary, literary uh, device, it is a literary device, it is also known, it is also known as a, a play words, and we are, um, that means uh, we are, that means we are uh, playing the, with the words, the similar identical sounds, but this de different meanings. Funs generally intended, intended, it is humorous, humorous, R O S, humorous, and they offer have serious um, purpose as well as literary work. This is the purpose of the pun for the writer, for the poet while writing, uh, writing the poem. For example, uh, for instance, um, I will tell you one example and clarify uh, your doubts regarding to the pun, uh, one of the figure of speech. Here, um, the tallest building in town is the library. The tall, generally, library, for what purpose library? There are so many books it contains. Uh, the students go to the library and refer different uh, books and uh, study there. That is the library. The, 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 the tallest building in town is the library. It has uh, thousands of uh, stories. Here you observe the stories. S-T-O-R-Y story. S-T-O-R-E-Y story. These are the same pronunciation. Story, story. That's why pun uh, is a uh, word, uh, figures of, figure of, one of the figure of speech that uh, homophones words the same pronunciation but different meaning. And here uh, through this example we should understand the tallest building in town is the library. It has uh, thousands of stories. Oh, wh wh what, uh, the, what the spelling we have to write? Stories. You add the S only. Thousands of stories means thousands of uh, um, upstairs. Uh, upstairs. Thousands of flats. flats. And uh, here, um, stories. Generally, library, there are sto story books are there. So many story books are there. You should, uh, I will read down one of the complete sentence. The tallest building in town is the library. It has thousands of uh, stories. But uh, that means a pun on the different uh, between stories in the books uh, and in a, in a building. Stories in a building. Building uh, consists of uh, stories. Library consists of books. Uh, the, uh, the consists of uh, uh, story books. That is, that is you, too, you should understand. A pun on the difference between stories in books and stories in building. That is the uh, home of puns, story and stories. While uh, uh, consider, while uh, converted into story, into plural, we delete the why and uh, in the place of why we should be adding uh, IES stories. But in, in, in these upper states or stories in the building, we should not uh, delete the why. We directly add uh, uh, S uh, um, to change it to plural from singular noun. Um, that is the rule of the from singular to plural. But uh, a pun is also, uh, we called that uh, paronomasia. Paronomasia means paronomasia. I will write down here paronomasia. P-A-R-O-N-O-M-A-S-I-A. -A -A. Paronomasia. Parana mesia means what is the meaning of uh, parana mesia? To call a different name. Different name, that means different name. A play on words. A pun also called parana mesia means to involves a word play 
which suggests two or more meanings, a different meanings, different name, or uh, by exploiting multiple meanings. That is more important. Multiple meanings of words of similar sound, sounding words for an intended humorous um, rhetorical effect. Puns are construction, constructions used in jokes, jokes and uh, idioms. We should uh, include the idioms also uh, on the way of the figures of speech, pun. Jokes also we express. Where uh, usage and meaning and its uh, culture to be understood, puns require uh, a large vocabulary. Vocabulary, a large vocabulary, vocabulary is more important. For example, um, Douglas Adams uses the comic, you know, he is one of the comic novelists. What did he write? So, he writes, you can tune a guitar, but you cannot tune a fish. Tune, tune, slight sound difference, same uh, consonant has means same letter is there. Tune, tune a fish. You can you can I, I will write down here uh, you can you can uh, tune a guitar g u i t a r a guitar you can tune a guitar but you not uh, uh, tone up uh, uh, tone up fish tone up fish tone up fish here uh, unless uh, the course you play at uh, the bass uh, it is a basical instrument basical instrument in the first sentence, he Adams, Douglas Adams, he uses pan, the figure of speech, and the similar sounds of uh, tune and tuna. Tune, tune and tuna. T U N E, tune and tuna. These words, these words, tune and uh, tuna, the Douglas has been used. The, uh, the meaning of, uh, while the second, uh, he puns on the Two meanings. And the word oh, bass, the musical instrument oh, and the fish, both are uh, two meanings are there, bass. One meaning is uh, musical instrument and uh, another means is oh, tuna, tuna uh, fish means uh, it is one of the fish. Puns are usually used to create oh, um, generally uh, humor. Puns are usually uh, generally used to humor, H-O-M-O-U-R, humor. And, uh, but can also be used uh, in sometimes uh, non-humorous way. Yeah, non-humorous way. That is the meaning of the um, example, one of the example of the pun. And you should understand that, uh, for example, give me a torch. I am not for this ambling. What is the meaning of the ambling? A-M-B-L-I-N-G, ambling. Ambling means walk or move at a slow or a relaxed pace. That is the meaning of ambling. What is, what is the sentence, example sentence here? Give me a torch. I am not for this ambling by being but heavy, I will bear the light. We, are, we have to, uh, two opposite meanings are there. Bear the light. L-I-G-H-T, light. Light means one, one more, one example is uh, torch. One is the torch. Light means torch. Uh, and light means opposite to uh, uh, heavy, H A V O heavy. Two meanings are there. Lightness, we take the lightness opposite to darkness. Lightness, uh, one meaning, another meaning, uh, light to dark. That is uh, one way of uh, understanding the meaning in the pun. And second way, lightness, uh, light to heavy. Light to heavy. This is the opposite meanings. You can also think of the heavy. You are heavy, heaviness mode. You think all of the um, uh, opposite to heavy, light, you think of the lightness. This is the uh, um, Romeo Juliet uh, um, tragedy play uh, written by uh, William Shakespeare. Uh, 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 this example has been taken that uh, uh, play or drama. This is the, uh, I cannot, one more example, I cannot remember which state my wife wanted to visit for our, our next vacation? Next vacation. Well, what is the meaning of, I cannot remember. Which state my wife wanted to visit for our next vacation? Alaska. 
which is state to Alaska. Alaska is one of the city. Alaska, uh, it is also pronounced uh, I apostrophe L L ask for. I ask for. I ask for. I ask for. Alaska. I ask for. When we are contacted from I ask for Alaska. That is the uh, read it aloud. When we read it aloud, uh, it has two pronunciations. Alaska, it is okay. Alaska, I will ask her Alaska. Both are same pronunciation, it's different meaning. But uh, uh, homonyms are uh, related to pun, they give um, same meaning but different uh, uh, spelling and same pronunciation. Pronunciation is uh, uh, same, um, spelling may be different, but meaning uh, compulsory is different. Next, uh, we go to the next uh, um, uh, figure of speech. The, that one is uh, epigram. Epigram. Epigram, this, uh, this one is uh, epigram. What is the uh, definition of the epigram? What is the introduction of the epigram? Epigram means uh, they have given one of the uh, definition. And, uh, sorry, OK. Next, uh, you should understand. Uh, it is a brief pointed saying. It couples words which apparently contradict each other. Contradict each other. Contradict each other. And then, and then, the language of the epigram is remarkable for its brevity. Brevity, brevity. Brevity is more important. Brevity, concise matter. That is the important of the brevity. And examples are as under, uh, they have given the child is uh, a father of a man. This is a uh, uh, famous poetist uh, Wordsworth uh, statement. The child is uh, a father of the man. It is the a broad meaning is there. But brevity means uh, in a small words, we elaborate uh, uh, meaning is, is included in small words. That is the um, meaning of the uh, introduction of the uh, definition of the epigram. And uh, in this epigram, a brief or clever and memorable statement. It is a brief statement, a brief statement. That is the brevity means. He would uh, end his uh, lecture, lecture with uh, uh, amusing, amusing or summarizing epigram of it. We can express the statement as an epigram. He has a genius for epigram. After a title while the English teacher turned off an epigram. That means epigram is epigram is a man, a man said to the universe. That is one of the example. We should understand the meaning, the sense of the epigram, that more important. Epigram, a concise Poem, it is a concise poem, concise. Concise means uh, a brief or a brevity. Dealing pointedly and often satirically with a single thought or event and often ending with uh, ingenious. Ingenious means clever. Ingenious means clever. And uh, uh, turn of the thought, amusing way. The terse, a terse uh, using of the words are witty. And often paradoxical. Paradoxical means uh, difficult to understand. Saying the epigrammatic, uh, uh, epigrammatic expression. Uh, it is a witty saving. Witty means uh, verbal, verbal saying. Verbal saying. It, the definition is a brief uh, or interesting uh, or memorable and sometimes surprising or uh, uh, satirical statement. That is the meaning of the epigram. These epigrams are used to convey a brief message or often in a sharp or witty manner. These messages are often in the form of a verse. Verse means what is the meaning of the verse? Verse means in the poems we are called verse. These, those lines are called verse. So that they convey the rhythm of the meaning. They carry the rhythm of the meaning. A short say, it is a short saying. It is a short epi epigram, is a short saying. 
ஷார்ட் சேயிங் ஆர் போயம் போயம் ஷார்ட் சேயிங் ஆர் போயம் திட் எக்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸஸ் என் ஐடியா இன் ஏ ஸ்மார்ட் அண்ட் ஃபன்னி வே இன் ஏ ஸ்மார்ட் அண்ட் ஓ ஃபன்னி வே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஸ்கார் வைல்ட்ஸ் ஃபேமஸ் போயிட்டு மோஸ்ட் ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட்லி கோட்டட் எப்பிக்ராம் ஆஸ்கார் வைல்டு ஏ குட் ரைட்டர் ஆஸ்கார் வைல்டு ஏ ஃபேமஸ் ரைட்டர் ஃபார் ஈஸ் யூ ஈஸ் யூஸிங் மோஸ்ட் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட்லி எப்பிக்ராம்ஸ் இன் ஈஸ் ரைட்டிங்ஸ் வாட் டிட் ஈ ரிட்டன் இந்த இன் ஈஸ் ரைட்டிங் ஐ கேன் ரெசிஸ்ட் எவ்ரி திங் எக்ஸெப்ட் டெம்டேஷன் தட் மீன்ஸ் டெம்டேஷன் எக்ஸெப்ட் டெம்டேஷன் ஐ கேன் ரெசிஸ்ட் எவ்ரி திங் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் டெம்டேஷன் தட் ஈஸ் த ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் யூ ஹாஸ் கிவன் தட் த சிமிலர் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி எப்பிக்ராம் இஸ் விட்டினஸ் அஃபோரிசம் பான் மாட்டு விட்டி சேயிங்கு விட்டி போயம் தட் மீன்ஸ் எப்பிக்ராம் இவா இவ் இவாஜு ஜீனியஸ் பரு டிசால்விங் க்ளோஸ் டவுன் ஏ டென்சஸ் டென்சஸ் சுச்சுவேஷன் இது எப்பிக்ராமு பான் மாட் A person or statement to take that uh, is a short and sweet uh, epigram it. A short uh, of a satirical poem. Epigram means a short uh, of a satirical poem dealing with concisely with a single subject usually, usually ending with a wit. Uh, usually ending with a wit. And then uh, epigram is mostly usually end with a wit. Uh, and uh, a genius genius means clever he turns up the thought that is the meaning of the epigram and it is a punch line and satirical uh, twist epigram has tend to rhyme because it makes them more memorable it is used most often to describe a short poem it can be used to describe a part of a poem or even in the uh, sentence form a longer piece of prose also not only not only poetry it is also used in the uh, prose also in ancient greek uh, epigrams were uh, short poems placed at the tombs t o t o m b s b is a silent tombs they have written they have placed epigrams a short poem only later uh, and then homer wit homer or wit the ep what is the importance of uh, epigram for the writer epigrams show that the truth can be conveyed concisely and wittily whereas many writers and speakers take a fine effort and speak to them to make truth known epigram take advantage of brevity or short saying are more memorable and more easily more easily passed down over time than essays and arguments because it is uh, an often difficult to concisely and witty express complicated uh, universal universal truth well a well known epigram is uh, a well known epigram is admirable poetic and uh, intelligent feat that is the meaning of the uh, epigram and then uh, uh, some more examples uh, i will give you in the epigram that uh, epigram expresses uh, in the in the name of everyone given their mistakes for example the example is we should understand through the example winners never quit quitters never win it is a, uh, a lot of meaning is there uh, in a short saying in a brief a clever memorable uh, statement it is a clever memorable statement winners 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 never quit never quit q u i t quit quitters 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 never win that means who are participated in any competitive show, they never quit who does not participate they never win without participation how do we win you elaborate we should elaborate to the expand of the the entire uh, this only ch- a small statement uh, it gives a um, uh, abundant uh, knowledge a good message a good message uh, good message has given lombard is uh, or some of the uh, writer statement in concise witty and uh, uh, ultimately true or great example of epigram uh, what did he say 
a man said to the universe sir i exist however replied the universe the fear the fear has not created in use the sense of obligation obligation that means here the man said to universe and this this statement to stephen crane this is a epigrammatic form of expression although human beings feel important the universe does not always they wanted does not always they wanted stream they surely university does not wanted that is the uh, meaning of the uh, explanation of the uh, epigram and uh, uh, next one is uh, we go to the next topic uh, antithesis and then we go to the uh, one of the figure of speech that is more important antithesis uh, this is the 13th one in this session uh, in antithesis a striking opposition or contrast of words is made in the same sentence in order to secure emphasis to err is human to forgive divine this uh, proverb uh, has good example of the antithesis antithesis good example the of the antithesis what is the definition of the antithesis what is the meaning of the antithesis a person or thing that is the direct opposite of someone or something else it is from greek word antithesis that is the meaning of opposition the direct opposite the rhetorical rhetorical contrast of ideas of of mean parallel arguments of words or clauses or statements for example uh, slavery what is the antithesis slavery is of opposite of the freedom it is a contradictory it is a opposer paradox conflict disparity oppositeness the meaning of the antithesis antithesis is a figure of speech that uh, juxtaposes place with uh, two contracting or opposing structures for example neil armstrong used uh, antithesis what did he say when he stepped uh, on the sun surface a uh, surface of the sorry sun uh, on the uh, surface of the moon in 1967 what did he say that is one small foot for the moon one giant leap for mankind this is an example of antithesis because the two halves of the sentence mirror each other a grammatical structure well together the two halves ex um experts expose the incredible contrast between the individual feeling ordinary step and the extraordinary progress the ordinary step and extraordinary progress that is called antithesis it is a um, old fashioned what is what is the meaning of that oh, some of the examples some of the statement of the antithesis they became part of our everyday life they are frequently used in no uh, arguments and uh, discussions these antithesis so uh, a part of everyday life you are using they are frequently used in you know, arguments they are frequently used in arguments in day to day life or discussions we have been using without noticing ourselves for example give every man thy ear but few thy voice what is the meaning of that one what is the meaning of that one thy means it is a old passioned thy means it is a old passioned and uh, um, old fashioned language a poetic language it is a language poetic language the meaning of thy t h y thy t h y thy thy means uh, it is uh, your it is the meaning of your that means for example thy honor thy your father and thy your mother honor thy thy father and thy mother that means uh, honor your father and uh, honor your mother that is the meaning of that here the example is give every man thy ear but uh, a few thy voice what is the meaning of the this statement uh, uh, um, antithesis 
give every man ear means listening you are listening but few you are speaking you you listen more and more, much and more but uh, thy voice means few thy voice and uh, you speak a uh, yeah, limited that is the meaning of the thy uh, uh, ear but uh, few thy voice for example man proposes uh, god disposes this is one of the example of antithesis man proposes means uh, uh, put forward he is going he is always uh, striving in the for his life for existence of life god disposes declined towards get rid of that is the meaning of next love is an ideal thing marriage is real thing one more example is speech is silver but silence is gold how much meaning is there when we elaborate this statement patience is better but it has a sweet fruit every person we have to habituate the patient money is the root of all evil poverty is the fruit of all good that is the meaning and you are easy on the eyes but hard on the heart people who have no vices vices means what is the meaning of vices v i c e vice vice means immoral immoral or wicked bad behavior immoral behavior bad bad behavior virtue means v i r t u virtue means good behavior people who have no vices and also have not may virtues even the sun shine sun is shines sun shines i can feel the rain it is never too late but it is never too soon it is the same the antithesis is a it is a same parallel situation the effect of antithesis can be parallel it should be you should be understand man proposes god disposes man is striving for existence of life god is disposes means so he creates some of the problems in our life declining towards get rid of god has made that type of uh, intention that means so uh, uh, speech is silver but uh, silence is gold patience is better but uh, it has a sweet uh, fruit if you may uh, maintain the patience so uh, it has a sweet good result you should we should uh, this is the uh, this class has been uh, explained by me uh, for you in this session i have completed three uh, figures of speech these uh, uh, three figures of speech number one is a uh, uh, pun uh, epigram and antithesis and uh, tomorrow we will meet again um, up to this class up to that class you should uh, watch this uh, uh, these classes uh, regularly and uh, uh, you grasp the uh, the internal uh, the definition the introduction the meaning and uh, you understand the uh, figure of speech through the examples also all of you once again uh, goodbye and thank you each and everyone